News Channel 3's Jake Gracia continues First Alert team coverage with the call for energy conservation going into the weekend. Jake, we're all using a lot of air conditioning right now to get through this. Yeah, John, good evening to you. And my air conditioner has been in overdrive lately, uh, except for from 4 to 9 tonight. That's when the state uh, statewide flex alert was issued. But guess what? Hotter temperatures are on the way over the weekend, and we're being asked to conserve energy once again. Today is hot. I mean, I'm out here. I'm sweating within five seconds of being out of my car. Oh, my God. It's the worst heat I've felt in a long time. I feel like it's really humid. And I'm from Tennessee, so I know humidity, and this is just horrible. It feels like I stepped into an oven. As temperatures soar during a dangerous heat wave, people are trying to beat the extreme weather. I'm just out in this heat every single day. Michael Salt sells real estate in Palm Springs. He's sticking to the pool and air conditioning to stay safe when it gets this hot. But with a statewide flex alert issued to conserve energy as concerns grow that the power supply might fall short, people are making changes. We always keep the lights off when we're chilling inside and, and just usually hang out by the pool and let the sun go down. For some people, decreasing energy usage is difficult to achieve. There's nothing you can do in this heat to save power. You're using all, everything. There's, you're using extra portable ACs. You're using extra electric right now. You're blowing fuses. And for others, especially those unhoused, the heat is a matter of life or death. And here in Palm Springs, the new 24-7 shelter is being pushed to its limits in this heat as well. All 30 of these cots expected to be filled up tonight. That is 30 people off the streets and out of the heat. To do your part to save power, turn your thermostat up to 78 degrees or higher. During the flex alert hours, wait to use those larger appliances and make sure you've got a plan to keep cool. Float in the pool all day, don't go anywhere, <laughs> and don't need air conditioning if I'm floating in the pool. And once again, that flex alert does go into effect again tomorrow night from 4 until 9 p.m. You need to be conserving energy during those hours as well. And get this, Cal ISO says that a wildfire right now is threatening power lines in southern Oregon, creating even more of a strain on that power supply. We're live tonight in Thousand Palms. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.